Okay, so step number 40 is we're supposed to install this heat shrink tubing on these aluminum tabs here, uh, probably to keep it from vibrating. Um, so, next is to put the seal, this weather stripping seal that came with the kit, down the sides here. And then, it looks like it's uh, on to putting the uh, intercooler in. So let's uh, go ahead and put this on. Next part here is we're going to um, install the uh, heat shrink tubing that came with the kit. I'm just gonna cut this in half and we're gonna insert it on these tabs on the condenser. And again, I'm pretty sure that's to keep it from vibrating, keep it from rubbing around. So one of the tabs is gonna go in here, right? The other, we're gonna put it on this side, put it on here. And actually, I'm gonna cut a little bit more off of this. Take a little bit off of there. Install it here. Better be right. With the heat gun. Okay, so the next thing we're going to do is install this weather stripping on here. Better be enough for both sides. And let's just check the picture again how they, how they showed it here. Weather strip here. Let's see, I'll cut it in half. Let's find the center. Cut it in half. See how long that is. Pretty long. Let's go for it. Wow. Make sure we get this spot here. Okay. Nice big piece of foam. And let's go do it over here too. Okay, about where it is in the picture, All right? Next, it's time to start putting it back in the car. All right, so step 42 is uh, put the intercooler back in and uh, hook it onto the radiator. Okay, let's go do it. This thing is fucking gross. this one. Wow. Uh -huh. yeah. So we got that tab in. This tab. Woo. Okay. We have the tank installed. Okay, so next we have to uh, transfer these clips uh, from the stock intercooler over to the new APR intercooler. Oh, it just comes right off. I'm not sitting there fighting it for no reason. It just comes off real easy. Okay, so this is the passenger side one. So let's see. Passenger side. Wow, this thing weighs a ton. Okay, got that. And this one. Okay, here is the passenger side one. All right, it's in. Man, I hope that can support that weight. That weight is ridiculous. Okay. Okay, so APR saying to do this uh, core support first. This is step 44. Um, yeah, I don't know. This is this is. I don't know. Let's just see how we do this. Because at the same time, I've got to get the AC condenser back in and back down on these tabs uh, and swing it in here. Lower both bottom tabs. Anyway. 
So back on the mount, I saw Tina couldn't secure it. The two supply five millimeter screws. Okay, so here comes the challenge. We gotta get this back in. This too. Right? Somewhere in here, this. Underneath the radiator. Up underneath here. This thing is a fucking ton now. It's ridiculous. So we're close right here. So I'm going to try to get this post in on this corner, which I did. Okay, so now we can get the condenser in. Having that uh, heat shrink tube on there makes that way freaking tight, man. Okay, that's pretty supported pretty well. Here again is that we're trying to wedge this in here and it's peeling up this heat shrink tubing because it is such a damn tight fit but we've got to get this bracket to be able to line up in this little trench here so we can put a screw in here to lock it and then over here on the other side on the other side here this tab actually has a like a 90 degree bend in it and so it, it'll show you if you've got it right i've got to go a little bit deeper and then uh a little bit more down and then because that 90 degree bends on here we can we need to make sure we have the um, condenser pushed all the way over to the uh, right here to the driver's side All right, so you can see I've got this um, wedged in here. It peeled up the, didn't didn't break it, but it did wedge in here really tight with the heat shrink tubing. And then I'm gonna use these um, supplied, uh, what are they, T15s, T25s, I'm sorry, uh, T25 screws to uh, lock in the condenser against the, uh, against the intercooler here. Let's see, hold on. Get in there, sucker. Can I even get to it here? Get this shit in my way. Okay, nice and tight. Now I gotta do the uh, passenger one over here. And this one's easy to get to, isn't it? Right, right there. Where's that? Can't see. There it is. Okay, so there we go. Got those two screws in. Got these guys in here. Next up. Okay, next is next step is 46, and it's basically to uh, put the uh, that core support, get it to snap back onto these uh, locking tabs. Okay, lock on the core support by using a screwdriver to pull them forward. Okay, let's go do that. Get it up and over into this bottom tab here. And of course it doesn't want to even lift because it's so fucking heavy. Okay, I've got to get this lower one first. I'm pretty sure that's a problem here. Okay, right there. There it is. Okay, so there's the lower support there. And the lower support here. 
lined up as well. So that just... Okay, so let's take a look here. So we've got the tabs in here lined up. Got this one over here. And we've got to press these in and lock this in. So let's do that. All right, I'm gonna... Okay, so step 47 is install the uh, hood latch, um, electrical release, and the crash sensor on both sides. Okay, so here's the uh, hood latch plug, and then here's the uh, crash sensor. That should, you know, make sure that little red tab goes up in. I felt it lock up in, you heard it. And we're going to do this crash sensor over here. up in there and it did and then the next thing is set 49 is to reinstall the factory crash beam um, again I don't have these long bolts so let's just read through here real quick because I'm gonna do it while I'm standing there one person uh, so for this um, yeah I'm gonna go ahead and probably get at least one or two of these bolts in just very loose just to hold it there and then what I'll probably do is if I've got it close enough, then I might I might put these bolts in next, um, right here, um, and try to wiggle this stuff all around to get the lines to match up the scribes I placed on here. I'll tighten these in, and then I'll go and, and uh, lift these up and make sure they're um, lined up on my scribe marks and tightened up appropriately. So um, I guess that's really about it. I didn't actually take. Um, these two screws out of mine so uh, I've just got to make sure I rotate the crash bar up underneath here to get it back on okay so is that cool uh, okay yeah so they're saying tighten those bolts okay so let's go do it starting with the plugs all right since I'm doing this as a one person so one person job here. Uh, I just gotta make sure I've got my tools ready to go. I'm gonna ratchet it. There's two bolts there. I think that's about it. Um, all I've got to do is get the main support, the main weight supported. And then uh, that's really it. And then I've got to wiggle it around and get these other screws to line up. Okay, so to do this. I'm going to come in low, all right, and come up underneath this uh, right here, and, and make sure that I'm looking like I'm going to do it. Got to get, okay. this one looks pretty good too, actually. Okay, so let's get a bolt to hold me up. Again, this is just enough to hold this in place and <clears throat> now I'm going to go ahead and take a look at the side bolts that hold into this radiator support. Alright, so uh, I can start these bolts here and again like I said here this is biting a little bit, so I'm going to lift it up. I can see my scrub marks perfectly right here, so I'm going to go ahead and uh, tighten this down. Oh, man, that looks like it's off. Uh, pretty close, pretty close. Okay. About this bottom 
bottom drawer. Oh shit. So, this one, I think, I think that's exactly where it was. Okay, so I got those lined up perfect. Let's go do the other side. I have to lift this up a little bit. Get this screw in. Comes over there. the screw's easy to turn, we don't want to strip anything out. So I've taken the weight off of it. Okay, now, this one looks really funky to me. This one, okay, it's like that right there, I think. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and put this bottom one in before I tighten the top one as well. Crazy how all this fits into it. It's a crazy mess of stuff. That's all lined up. Now I'm going to go ahead and put in the rest of, of the scratch guard bolts. All right, so can you see what I've got here? Right? Can you see the trash guard here, trash bumper? Let's get this shit rolling. So, I marked it on the back side, but it pretty much looks like it's gonna pull right up to where it needs to be anyways. So it's not that big of a deal. Now that does have some movement. Right? So let's take a look. I'm going to go ahead and tighten this up. Okay, now that I've got uh, these four bolts tightened up here on the crash, crash guard, crash bumper, and I think I've got it lined up pretty good, I'm going to go ahead and put these two center support nuts back in and tighten those up okay next step 53 is to reinstall these uh, side air deflectors air guides back on the sides here okay so okay so these things are a little bit funky putting these things back in here but uh yeah i'm not so sure it doesn't seem like that wants to lock on there unless i push it back up into this corner which maybe that's where it's supposed to be at hell i don't know I don't remember too well with this piece here. Um, hmm. Yeah, but I mean, obviously this has to, this piece here has to hook around the uh, condenser tab here. So this has got to be the right place here for this. And I guess that's about where that piece goes. It's a little bit flimsy. Let's check this other side here real quick. Okay, so I mean, I'm pretty sure, I don't know if that has to go behind there. It looks like it does. This to the front, this to the back. Um, definitely, obviously, these flaps go around here to conceal this off. So I know I've got that right. 
and then I think I just I'm just gonna push it back up here at the top push it over to the side so it's sort of sealing in here like this all right so I think that's good okay so here's the actual piece that they're really talking about I, mean, I still put in that other piece in there but this one here I believe we just got to line it up in here correctly and is this the right way to line this up uh, let me see here hold on okay so here's where it needs to be at and you just sort of got to rotate it in here and line up the three tabs there's one there and there's one here and basically it's sealing up against the bumper right here to deflect the air in here and trying to seal around uh, these condenser lines so i'm gonna go ahead and pop that in like that looks like it's pretty simple right okay that's in so we'll slide it in and you gotta sort of twist it around in here line up that one line up this one line up the third one there and i'm just gonna go ahead and lock it in Get it in, damn it. Oh, a pain in the ass. We can, yeah, that's in. That's in. And that one's in. Okay. So that's sealed off. Looks good. All right. Okay, so 54 is reconnect up the temp sensor. And for us, we've got to re-snap in the DAP um, cable as well. And they're telling us to go ahead and put the horns, plug the horns back in. So let's go do all of that. Okay, so if you remember here, can you see this? Yeah, I've got to get this uh, harness back in there, put them through here. And then obviously this sensor here. Um, has to be plugged in air sensor and then we got to put the DAP sensors back in DAP sensor cable tie this back on here <clears throat> you don't want to mess up the alignment on this thing because I heard it's pretty ridiculous how they have to align this thing so hopefully I am uh, <laughs> still pretty well aligned here I think I want to clean that off real quick while, while I'm sitting here do that so for this so horn over here it has to be plugged back into this bracket the cable has to be supported there and then i guess it's okay to go across the top do the same thing over here uh easy easy all right easy peasy i don't think there's anything else to worry about there I've got all that okay then the next thing is here 55 is to slide the headlights back in plug them in and make sure that you uh line up correctly on the slide tab on the screw that was left in there um, make sure you get that on there right let's take uh, let's take a look okay so i'm putting the headlight back in right now and i just wanted to show you again what i was just talking about but um we got to just make sure that we get um this screw up on top of this tab here and we uh put this back in here so i know i'm something here Plugs got stuck. So I got the plug in there. Okay. <clears throat> okay, so we got that lined up. Got this one lined up now. And then we just got to look at the body alignment here when we go to tighten this up. Let's get the uh, other light in as well. Alright, so here's the driver's side headlight. And I'm going to get it pushed in a little bit more here. And it lined up perfectly on that tab. I'm going to go ahead and plug in the electrical connector. See, I'm lined up here. I'm back on those tabs. Looks good. I can see the old marks too where they were screws were at, so I'm going to tighten them back up there. Okay, so the next step here is to put the torque screws 
um, on the lower side of the headlight back end to hold the headlight in. Okay, so we're on the passenger side of the car, and here's that uh, headlight mounting screw hole. So, I'm not sure about, I guess it sort of self-aligns itself anyways. Um, well, so, yeah, I mean, it doesn't look like it's that far off anyways. But they're telling us to go ahead and tighten it. So, I'm thinking that I might lift it up a teeny little bit when I actually tighten it. Most of this plastic flexes anyway, so it's okay. I, it, it can flex when you go to... Uh, align the rest of the screws so we're probably okay regardless okay driver's side okay so we'll tighten that up Hopefully that's close enough and good enough okay so the next thing after that they're saying is put the front bumper cover back on so okay next we're going to put in this uh cross piece that supports this that supports the front fascia here. So I've got to get it underneath here. Oh, so you can see that. Put this back in. Whoa! That torqued. Too tight. <clears throat> Actually, I have to mark these too, I swear. The headlight actually sits right under it. Okay, so we're supposed to put the front clip back on, but first I need to put these air dams back on the uh, transmission cooler. So, let's pop those back on. There it goes. I think, unless I flipped it around backwards. Shit, hope not. Okay, that's in. Just pop it in. It just pops in, line up those those holes and slide it over. There it is, locked in. Okay, we got that one now. Okay, so step 57 is put the uh, slide the front bumper cover back on and plug in the uh, uh, parking sensors. By myself here. Step 58, uh, snap in these corners of the fenders. Right back in. There we go. What's that one? Perfect. The other side, same thing. 59, connect up the uh, water line. Okay, so we're just gonna, I'm gonna clip this in first, 
this coolant line and then uh, shit whoops I'm gonna start spraying everywhere as soon as I do this right okay clip that in push the pump back make sure it's clipped in nice and tight here and here good now let's put this uh, trim piece back in here all right let's see how we're gonna get this so here's the trim piece it's got to go underneath this it's going to be running here step 60 bolt up the uh, front clip from underneath all right let's go do all those make sure that this uh, panel is right where I want it I think it is looks pretty good it's lined up decently okay there it is it's good then let's go ahead and put uh, this one okay okay so step 61 is to reinstall the uh, lower fender liner and step 62 uh, which I'll do at the same time is to reinstall these uh, lower bottom fender liners here on the left and the right so I'm gonna go ahead and do all that at one time oh, that's the bit it does that I don't have it perfectly lined up. All right. Okay. Here. Yeah, let's get these in here. Uh oh. All right, right there. All right. Then this one. Okay. Looks pretty solid, looks pretty good. You know I've got to do the one that goes up underneath that holds this corner in. So make sure I don't have this torque too high. I'm gonna set it on seven for right now. I think it looks pretty good actually. I think that's pretty good. All right. Okay, so step 63 is to put the intercooler hoses back on. I'm gonna put the stock ones back on. I've ordered the APR ones, um, but I guess they were back ordered or something, so they're on their way. But uh, I can easily put these on anytime, so no big deal. So I'm putting the stock ones back on. All right, well, sorry. Let's see here. I didn't really show myself putting this in here, but I'm gonna make sure these clamps are turned down. And then we're gonna tighten these up. Okay, let's tighten these up. Yeah. Is that me slipping or the thing? Okay, step 64, um, we got to tighten up the screws in the back and the one in the front. Now I believe this long screw here with the washer on it is the uh, one that's supposed to mount the front of the headlight up here. Okay, 
I'm just gonna barely snug that. And then this one back here. Okay. This one's tight now. Right. All right, I think I'll go ahead and just uh, latch this on here. Hook the ball in here, right? Actually, push this through here, push the ball, and then this thing right on top and I'll break it. Okay, there we go. Here. Okay, cool. All right, so now that I got that back together, hopefully you can see all this. Let's put this cross on here. Okay, longer ones right here. I think I'll go one notch tighter. All right. Okay, first things first, you tighten this one up back here. Okay. And we gotta place the long bolt down in here in the front of the headlight. Okay. Next, this is pretty good too because the way these headlights are going back in here, they're going back in nice and uh, square. It's not like they're wobbling around or anything. And I'm trying to figure out how to line them. It seems like they're just going right back to how they were really no plane. Okay. I like that all these bolts are the same size for the most part too. That's nice. Okay. So that seems to be pretty good. We installed these brackets. We did 66. We pop this in here, latch that back. We don't have those two screws, so we don't need to do those. And then now we just need to go underneath and put on the uh, air dam pieces, whatever you want to call them, belly pan. Okay, so we're going to go do those. And then the last thing is popping this on. Actually, we can do that right now. So I'm just going to go ahead and pop the grill back in and then of course obviously put the air cleaner back in. So let's do that. I'm going to get these to go back down all the way back there. Okay, looks pretty good. <laughs> I think I got that one. I got this one. And we got this one here. Okay, so that's all in. in. Looks like it's lined up. Uh, let's see if we can get this clamp on. It looks like it's an easy fit. Okay. Alright, so no 
parts are left over, which is a great thing. All right, so we have to get the uh, wheels back on. And just so you know, this is how I hold the brakes. <laughs> 30 pound dumbbell on the brake pedal. Right there, that will hold the brakes. All right, cool. 